Hey everyone, today I have nine Dollar Tree DIYs. These spring decor ideas using the secret garden calendar turned out so beautiful. I think you'll enjoy them. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Tanya. Welcome to my channel. And I do hope that you all like, share, and subscribe. Now for a first design, I'm gonna be using the picture that they have for March in the secret garden calendar. And I thought this one was so pretty. I love how it has the little pots of herbs. And I decided to put this on one of the wood signs that they have in the Dollar Tree Plus section for $3. And I'm just gonna be putting some Mod Podge on the top of the wood here. And then we're gonna place that calendar on top. And I have a couple little tips that you can use to take the glare off of the calendar and it makes them look more like a print in a matte finish. Now I decided just to kind of press this down where I can work it into those grooves and this made the prettiest little wall hanging and I just decided to take my utility knife and I do get out my exacto knife. Those actually work really well if you're trying to trim off the extra paper. Now I'm heating this up because that's gonna help that spread underneath there. And then I take my little rolling pin and I just keep working it until it gets everything really flat and all the wrinkles are out. But that's a technique that I found that works really well for me if you'd like to try that one. Now I'm just gonna trim off the excess here and then I'll be taking that X-Acto knife to kind of trim down the edges in between. And you can see these are really sharp little knives so they work wonderful for this. And it really cleaned up all those edges. But I thought this was a really sweet little sign and here is my tip. I use Liquitex, the matte varnish, and this stuff will take the shine right off of that calendar and it makes it look more like a print and you can see it kind of makes the colors look really rich and I just thought this was a really neat idea and I've used my Liquitex in my paintings before. I like to do a lot of the matte finishes, but this works wonderful on the calendar, so definitely give that a try. Now I decided just to take a few sprigs of greenery and I'm just gonna add those on to the little corner here. And I thought this made just a really sweet little something that you could hang on your door or anywhere in your home. But this calendar has some of the prettiest pictures for spring. So I hope that you can find the Secret Garden um, 2024 calendar at Dollar Tree. Now for our next design, this is one of my favorites, everyone. I decided to make a wreath. I absolutely love this picture that they created. And I'm gonna use one of the round wood discs and we're gonna be putting this picture on here and then we're gonna be building up a grapevine wreath around this. But everyone, look at this. Is this not the sweetest little picture? I really thought this one was pretty. Now, I decided to put this on top of the wreath instead of underneath it. And once again, I'm using some of that Mod Podge, just putting that on there and then we'll do the same technique, rolling it with the little rolling pin and just pressing everything down. But everyone, I've got nine of these today. I tried to get 10 DIYs out of the calendar, but I just couldn't get that last one to come together. So I did nine, which I thought was really impressive out of one calendar. Now here I go with that Liquitex matte varnish again. And I found mine at Michael's. Uh, they do have that at any of the craft stores that have paint supplies. And using this little rolling pin really gets all those wrinkles out. But everyone, this turned out so pretty. Wait till you see what I do to this. Now, I did just use some hot glue on this. If you wanted it to hold permanently, if you're gonna put it on your front door, I would probably add um, some super glue or maybe some E6000 to this, but I just decided to pop a little extra glue underneath because, you know, being a crafter, I constantly am taking my things apart. And this is how I pulled this together, and this is what made this design look so pretty. I had some of those little pots from Dollar Tree, and I decided to pop those right down there at the bottom, and I'm gonna fill them with some of this moss, and this is just some of the brown moss 
I picked this one up at Michael's and you get a pretty large bag for a reasonable price. And then I'm gonna take those greenery vines that I picked up last year at Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to make them look like they were growing out of these little pods, kind of to represent what's happening around the dress. And wow, this turned out so pretty. And I actually ended up putting this on my pantry door in my kitchen. And it just has that spring vibe and it's just really pretty to look at. Now I'm just taking some little wire and wiring on little pieces here because I didn't want to glue my greenery down in case I wanted to take this apart and use it for another season. But I love this greenery. I haven't seen it yet this year at Dollar Tree, but I sure hope that they get this one back in because this is one of my favorites and I really like the light color tone of it. I think it looks really pretty. Now I end up looking in my flowers and I found some berries that were on a wreath that I picked up at Goodwill. And everyone, don't pass up those florals that you find at Goodwill. Even if they're dusty, all I do is I take and mix up some dish soap and um, in a bucket and kind of dump that over top of it. And then I take the little sprayer and just spray all of the florals down and it makes them look really like brand new. But look at these little berries. I thought these little pit berries is what I call them. They were perfect for this design because I was kind of leaving this one still in the neutral decor theme. But this turned out so pretty. And like I said, it's amazing what you can create with Goodwill finds and Dollar Tree items. And I just made that little simple bow to pop up there at the top. and. Added a few more little sprigs of greenery here and there to kind of finish it off. But this is definitely one of the favorites. And here it is, everyone, hanging on the wall. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I really have enjoyed the designs that I've been creating with this one calendar from Dollar Tree. Now for our next design, I decided to take, oh, let me see, which one did I use this time? It was Bloom, Bloom Where You Are Planted. And I was just gonna make another simple piece of wall art. And I had this uh, picture, I think I picked it up at Valentine's Day, maybe a year or two ago. And I've been trying to work through my craft stash. You'll have to let me know, are you guys trying to work through your craft stash? Because I have really been trying to downsize a lot of my craft supplies. And I just kinda wanna be able to go shopping and maybe take you guys with me and we'll find our items and then we'll come home and we'll create our DIYs. But I'm going to be pulling out that cardboard after I got the uh, wood strips off the top of this and I'm doing that just so I can clean up the back and glue this on and I've really been making use of this cardboard that I've had around my house. I think this and the um, package and paper is two of the best ways to just clean up the back of your designs. Now I decided for this just to take and use some Elmer's glue and it works really well if you just put a glove on and you can rub that right up to the edges and it really gets it on there good so this cardboard sticks. And I always do like to take that rolling pin and just roll it over there to make sure that it flattens it down so the glue adheres well. Now we're gonna take the Bloom Where You Are Planted, and I thought these were just really simple designs. And I like that the colors weren't super bright, and I just thought that made these look so pretty. And like I said, the Liquitex Matte Varnish just makes all the colors pop on these pictures that Dollar Tree has on these calendars. And some of these, you just kinda have to make them fit you know, the best way you can. I just kind of placed it on there, what was pleasing to my eye, and just trimmed off the excess on all of the pages that I use. And definitely use that X-Acto knife if you have one of those. They're super sharp and they trim down so quick and so neat. Now I decided to use that avocado green 
because I know green's one of the colors that's in this year. And I actually really like the green colors. I have still a lot of gray in my home, not gonna change that yet. So I'm gonna be pulling in some green pieces of furniture with maybe some wallpaper on it. So I'm hoping once the weather gets warm, I'll be able to show you some of those. Now I'm just gonna hot glue my little uh, wood pieces around here to frame out my picture. And then we're probably gonna just add a rope twine and that will kind of finish this off. I guess all of these kind of had a little bit of a farmhouse touch to them because I had actually finished this uh, video in February, but as you might have seen with my post, I had not been feeling well for the past couple of weeks. But thank you all that sent prayers. I really appreciate that. And I'm just gonna trim off that excess there and then we'll tie on our little rope twine. But everyone, like I said, I've got uh, nine of the DIYs from this one calendar today. And if you stay with me till the end, uh, put one of those little flower emojis in the comments and I'll know that you have been with me through the video. And I hope you do like and share with your friends. That really does help my channel if you share the videos and if you just comment and definitely if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and for all of you that may watch the videos and haven't yet subscribed i would love for you to subscribe and become part of my youtube family i have a lot of different diys that i want to share with you this year and i'm just really excited to do all of the designs for the new year coming up here now i'm going to finish this off again with just a tiny little rope bow on each one of the little flowers. And I just thought that added just a, a little something extra. And of course you've seen, I put that varnish on there again and it just makes this look more like a print than uh, a calendar page. But I thought this was a sweet little design. This would look good hanging on a door or you could even put this one outside if you like to hang things up on your porch. And you don't have to put the uh, rope hanger on there. You could just use it as a uh, leaner or just a shelf sitter just somewhere to add that little touch of spring. But definitely check out those calendars at Dollar Tree. I think if you really look through them, if you're like me, I have to look through them a couple of times. <laughs> and then it's like, after I look through them a couple times, I'll see things that I wanna do with them. And uh, it's just a really simple, inexpensive way to add some decor, especially if you're on a budget and you just wanna have some pretty spring decor in your home. Now for our next DIY, I'm going to be taking this little riser that I made. Those are just boxes from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to be taking some of the green paint and just adding it to the bottom of the feet there. And then we'll be painting our little box part with some of the, um, I think I use a white paint. Maybe I use, let's see, it's coming up. I think it was the vintage whites, what I used on that. But I thought this would just be fun to add those little books with the glass vase of flowers on this. And I was just gonna do something really fun on top of this and just make a cute little shelf sitter for spring. And everyone, I'm sorry, my uh, camera wasn't adjusted right and uh, it was just a little bit fuzzy, but I left these in there because I think we can see them well enough. So I apologize for that. Now I'm taking that X-Acto knife again. You can see that works really well and the way I cut these out to make them look really nice is try not to cut too many curved lines. You can see how I'm doing everything as little uh, triangles or straight lines. And that really makes this look pretty when it gets cut out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little Mod Podge and brush that on the back. And then we're gonna put this on the front. I decided just to leave the other side of the box in case I wanted to just turn it around and use it as a little riser for another season. 
But I thought this was a really fun one. And like I said, I could not believe all of the fun pages that they had in the Secret Garden 2024 calendar from Dollar Tree. There was some really pretty designs in there. So definitely see if you can find that one if you've enjoyed these. And I just decided to peel that up over the edge just as if you were doing like a decal on furniture. And then I wanted to cut out that little butterfly and just pop him on there. I actually cut his little wing off and had to pop it back on. <laughs> now I'm just gonna put some glue kind of in a circle shape here and I'm gonna take that rope twine and just kind of form a, what would look like a little coaster. And the reason why I'm doing that is I had a few of those pink little mushrooms left. And I just decided that I was going to pop those little mushrooms that I had left on there. And I just thought the colors looked pretty with the color that was in the pink roses. But it made a cute little design. And then I just take one of my tiny little plants and set on the side. But I thought it made just a cute little shelf sitter that you could put up for spring. Now here I go with those mushrooms. I really love these little mushrooms. I really need to pick up a few more. And if you haven't found these at Dollar Tree, um, they have them in several different colors. It seemed like I seen like purple and blue and pink. I can't remember if there was yellow, but I just thought they were cute little accent pieces for designs like this. Now for our next design, I'm gonna be using this page that says the earth laughs and flowers with the sunflowers on there. And I decided to create a wreath out of this one. And I'm gonna use that charger that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I really love those gray chargers that they have. I think they're really pretty for crafting with. And I'm just kind of pressing around the edges there to get the circle where I can cut it out. And then I end up taking my pinking shears and just kind of cutting around the edge to trim off some of the extra and just give it a little bit of pattern around the edges. And then we'll glue it down to the center. But this one I did kind of simple. I just really liked the picture inside that charger. And I decided to pull out some sunflowers that I had in my stash and I'll glue them on here. And then I add a little gingham bow to this design and a little rope bow. And I just thought it turned out so pretty. But this was definitely a fun little cluster of DIYs to do with those uh, calendar pages. And everyone, here's another one of those floral bouquets that I picked up at Goodwill. So definitely look for those. I know sometimes when I pick them up, they see, almost smell like they've been sprayed with perfume or something. But I end up, like I said, usually taking some of that Dawn dish detergent and going over them. And sometimes I use just a light little scrub brush or a rag and then just rinse them well. And I usually do that in the shower, but they clean up quite nicely. And you can always find some really pretty good quality flowers that are at a good price. So definitely check that out at your thrift stores or Goodwill. And I thought these sunflowers went perfect with this design. They match the little sunflowers perfectly. But everyone, you have to leave me a comment and let me know, have you decided on what your spring decor is gonna be this year? Right now, I really have not picked a style. I am just kind of crafting through my stash and trying to work through some different designs. And really, it's just to give you inspiration. And I'm hoping that if you see something that I create, it might, send you on a creative journey to create something maybe completely different, but yet you kind of took an idea and it was helpful to you. So that's pretty much what I love to do on my channel is just create and hope that it inspires you to create your own design. And of course, if you want to create the designs like mine, I am so happy if you do that also. But everyone, look how pretty this turned out. Very simple, just a simple and quick little design to put together for spring. Now for our next design, this was really unique. So I hope you can take something away from this one. 
I had these hearts left over from Valentine's Day. Well, actually, I think they have these hearts most of the time in the Crafter Square section at Dollar Tree. And then I picked up those little tiny hearts and I don't know, I just wanted to put them on that spot. I end up painting over all this with white, but it seemed like that just added a little dimension. And then I'm just gonna build these up, kind of turning them different directions, cause I want this to be a little shelf sitter. And we're gonna take these butterflies and I'm gonna cut these out and I end up gluing, you'll see here in a moment, a little round wood bead underneath them to make them look like they have landed where they're floating. And then I use the little hole in the wood bead to put these little wire feelers on the butterfly. And this could not have turned out cuter. So if nothing else, if you don't wanna make this design, I hope that this gives you an idea that you can do something with these little butterflies by just gluing them to a little wood bead and using that little hole to pop the feelers in on your butterfly to put on uh, your different types of design. Now I went back and used this vintage white and I was making this one kind of neutral on the background because I knew those butterflies were colorful and I really wanted them to stand out. But I really think this might be my second favorite next to the wreath. This one turned out so pretty and it's just one of those simple little spring shelf sitters that you can put up in any room of your home. And I thought this was definitely a fun and creative one. So I hope you enjoyed this one. You'll have to let me know in the comments. And you'll be able to see when I do my little clip at the end here uh, where I've got this one setting outside in the studio. And I'll kind of show you at an angle where you can see how the little butterflies look like they're floating. But look at this, you take that hole, pop that little wire feelers right in there and it looks just like they're popping right out from the butterfly. Now I decided to add some little rope bows because I had been doing that through this whole video. And I ended up covering up my little heart that I was so happy that I put on there, but that's okay. It ended up looking really cute. And I thought I was done with this one. And then I said, nope, I gotta pull out some of that greenery. So I pulled out some more of that vine that I had put on the wreath and kind of laced that in between. And it just really finished this design off and made it look really pretty. Now here I go with those few little sprigs of that greenery popping them in there and it just kind of made this look like these little butterflies had just landed on a bush and we have a really big butterfly bush in our yard and uh, it's always full of so many butterflies in the summertime so that's really fun I'll have to take a little video clip of that and show it to you and here it is everyone now you can see when I kind of zoom off to the side it really just looks like these little butterflies have just landed and they're just popped on there and looks like my little butterfly bush. I think this is a really cute one. Now I decided to do something a little fun with this one. I took um, this little wood house. This was from the Crafter Square section also and it had a hanger on it, I believe. And I took that off because I'm gonna end up putting this on this little wood fence that I had picked up at Goodwill. But I thought the colors on here were really pretty. So I'm just going to glue this on in the shape of the house. And I really love how this turned out when I put the greenery behind it. And I tried to save as much of that tree as I could. I do have to cover up that little hole there at the top with the little rope bow, but isn't this adorable? I thought this one was really pretty. And everyone, I'm sorry, again, my camera kept messing up on me. So this one was kind of hard to see, but you'll be able to see it at the end and uh, when I do my little video clip. And I took a little marker, went around there, just trying to fill that in on the edges a little bit. And this is a cute little piece. I got it Goodwill for a couple dollars. And the wood house just happened to fit on here perfectly. So I decided to put it on the front and then make it look like maybe there was shrubbery or bushes or trees in the back of the house. And you could have put anything behind here. But I thought the idea of this design was really pretty and I picked these florals up 
from Michael's. I actually had them in my living room and I ran in there and got them so I could pop them in this design so I could show you what it looks like. That's why I did not finish the back of this off because I was going to put moss and I thought, nope, I'm going to have to take my flowers back and put them in the living room. But I popped them in here like this so you can kind of see what it was going to look like. And here's the little video clip. And I just thought this made just a pretty little shelf sitter. And I love that. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So that's really cute for the little lemon tree. If I would have had some lemons, I would have put that on the greenery also. So that would be another thing you could do in the back of this. Now for this one, I had to have something with hummingbirds. So I took one of the trays, going to turn it into some wall art. And I thought these were so pretty. I think these... Are these hydrangeas? You have to let me know what those flowers are. They kind of look like it, don't they? And I kind of do this little curve to cut and I kind of wiggle my scissors around on this one. And that's always a really good technique to do when you're cutting out these flowers. Because if you do it really quick and your scissors are sharp, it really makes the flowers look pretty And once you have it all cut out. And I just was gonna place these on here. I am gonna paint our little tray there. And the hummingbirds is something that I enjoy every year in my area. You'll have to let me know, when do your hummingbirds come back? Ours should be coming back here, I'm hoping, maybe in a couple of months. Sometimes we get them sooner. Now, I'm taking my wetland chalk paint and just putting on here. And then I'm be taking some of that green. And that's Italian sage that I used. And I did a little dry brushing technique on this. I was just pulling in a little bit more of that green in here. And like I said, I may use these decor pieces on my porch or something because I, I really like how they look. They're really simple. And uh, I do put that matte varnish on top of this. But I just brushed this on lightly, just made it kind of look like aged wood with a little bit of that green. I guess kind of having that farmhouse feel to this one. I wanted to dry everything really well. And I'm gonna, of course, take some more of the Mod Podge, put on the back of these, and then we're just gonna make a really simple little scene like I was showing you there for spring. And we'll have our little hummingbirds on there. Well, everyone, I hope you are enjoying these today. I apologize for my voice. You can probably tell by the end of the video, I'm starting to sound tired. I think it's just where I haven't felt very well, but we got, I'm not sure, I think we might have one or two more. I forgot where we were. But let's get our little hummingbirds on here. And when I put that matte varnish on, it did kind of make everything dark up. Definitely try that if you haven't tried that with the varnish. And you could probably get any matte varnish. I just happen to have the Liquitex because that's what I use for my paintings. And you can see how it starts brightening up those colors. I'm going to add that little rope bow right there to my little glass jar. And then I just put a simple little hanger on the back and I hung this one up, but you could use this as a shelf sitter or a leaner or hang it up like I did. Now for this design everyone, I decided I was going to place it in this little wood picture. This was one I picked up, oh goodness, I think I've had this for three, four years. And I couldn't fit everything, so I definitely wanted that little turtle on there. So I cut him out and I decided to put him like he was walking through that grass underneath the butterfly. And I just ended up adding some little florals to the bottom where I have that little gap you can see. So keep that in mind. Don't uh, throw things away if you don't think they'll fit or just, you know, add some little florals or greenery down at the bottom and that kind of gives it that finished look. Or you could just could have pieced a, another piece of the uh, calendar on top of that to cover that up. But I thought this one was really cute and simple and I end up adding some of that gingham ribbon around the uh, top part. I end up painting this the dark green but I remembered that I had that uh, black and white little gingham ribbon, so I ended up putting that on top 
after I got everything painted green. And if you're gonna paint this on the inside, everyone, definitely do that before you put your picture in there. I, I forgot to do that and I had to be very, very careful. Now I'm gonna take some of the little greenery sprigs and kind of hide that little area down there. And then I think I end up adding that little black and white gingham ribbon to there. And that finishes this design off. But everyone, while we're finishing up, um, I hope that you get a chance. Maybe you can go back and watch some of the older spring videos. Like I said, I have been out a little bit because I've not been feeling well. And uh, there's so many of the spring ones that are even a year or two old that are really, really good. I'll try to uh, share some of those in um, the community post for you to look at. There's a couple that to this day I really enjoy and I'll try to put those there, but don't forget to check out some of the past videos. I'm sure you'll find some content that you will enjoy. And I do hope that you all uh, like and share. And like I said, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Now I really like the way this uh, black and white ribbon went around here. I thought that finished this one off and made it really pretty. Well everyone, here is our little leaner is what we're gonna call this, setting up out there and I think it couldn't be cuter. Well, everyone, I do hope that you enjoyed today's DIYs, and if so, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you do so, and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back again. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful week.